it broke. Hey, what's up guys? Real quick before we start the video, I am uh, launching my first uh, campaign on Teespring. Uh, if you guys know how that works, it usually goes one week, two weeks. Uh, this particular first run of shirts goes till July 4th. And um, it's teespring.com slash shop slash IW Rocker or go there and type in IW Rocker and it should come up. There'll be a link in my description and a link on my channel art on my main channel page. And uh, go there and check it out. It's a Power Wagon 4x4 shirt. It's kind of cool. It's got a little mud splatter on it. It's simple but uh, tasteful. And uh, I'm going to have more shirts coming up. So let me know if you guys like them. Pick one up if you want. And let's get back to the video. Welcome to the video. It's a quick one today, but uh, it's informative. I've had this truck a year and a half, and uh, it's been great. And I'm gonna show you today the one thing that uh, just recently, I guess you could call it broke, or uh, doesn't work properly anymore. Still works, but uh, not the typical way, so let me explain it. Anyway, so I may have clickbaited you a little bit, but it's good because the truck is in good order still looks good still runs good okay what it actually is is well let me demonstrate I need my keys okay so I'm gonna lock it first okay now it's all locked okay so the problem lies when you unlock it okay on mine how I have it set up you hit unlock once does the driver's door, unlock twice, does everything else, okay? So, let me show you. The rear door works, front door works, okay? The other side works, so all the doors work. The tailgate works, okay? Here lies the problem. these ram boxes are locked so these uh, ram boxes you know what here and just to prove just to prove it ain't something with the key fob I'll lock it in here okay so now it's locked okay so I'll unlock it and then I'll unlock it in here And you're gonna see that the uh, ram boxes still don't work okay so no not a big deal the truck isn't broken down but uh, the ram boxes no longer work uh, at least the unlock for the ram boxes don't work with the key fob anymore so basically it's not a big deal I'm just being honest with you guys showing um, 
you know, showing every side of this truck. I want to digitally document how it is owning this thing and it's great. But, uh, you know, nothing's perfect and this is just one small minor uh, defect It's kind of developed, okay? Right locks it, left unlocks it. Okay, so still works with this key here. So um, that's kind of a relief. So then you get what you want, you close it up, and then you uh, turn to the right, and she's locked. I'll show you the other side, might as well close this. I'll show you the other side. See, it's still locked. Unlock now, locked. So, going my first little uh, problem in a while with it. Not a big deal, but I just thought I'd show you guys to uh, stay honest. As a bonus, you see that looks right. Gear. What does it now work? There it goes. Okay. Now, the reason I, I, I believe I may have said this once before, but I never told the whole story because it wasn't an issue, but I thought it would fix itself, but it didn't. Uh, when I got the lift kit installed, uh, they only made a small little mistake when they installed it. They accidentally ripped this wiring harness off when they installed it. And um, so that light was on. Well, for free, obviously, they replaced it. So here's the part here. Okay, there's a sticker, CNC off-road. And uh, you can see it's this little wiring harness right there. It's underneath, right by the front axle, because it's for the front locker. Now they replaced it, and it worked for like a couple days, and then it started flashing again. Now, when I went off-road the last couple times, it seemed like the front locker worked. Um, as you know, I don't really use it much, so it's not a big deal right now, but it uh, flashes like that, and it doesn't matter what you do, doesn't matter how you play with it. Um, I've tried it all. It just keeps flashing. So, what I'm going to do pretty soon here is take it to the dealer and just see what they say, or if any of you guys know, have had that happen or know what it is, even though we replaced that, it didn't fix it, um, just the flashing anyway. Let me know if you guys know. Anyway, either way, I'll take it to the dealer and uh, hopefully get you guys an answer for that uh, pretty soon here. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching this quick video today. Uh, the truck's still doing great. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Coming out with a couple more videos. We'll be talking about possibly a Q&A again because it's been a while. And uh, a giveaway coming up too. More to come shortly. If you haven't checked out my Challenger video or any of my quick drives, which is my second series I'm doing on this uh, recently, go ahead and check them out. I think they're really fun. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later.